morning guys will we have anyone joining us get those bikes at the ready <clears throat> morning not quite as sunny this morning but it adds to the my dark room ambiance. So, not a bad day for it to be raining. Okay. Morning, Susie. Just give it another minute and then I'll get going with my intro. Okay, so we're going to do an... I'll wait for my thing to start. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do an indoor cycle session today. Um, obviously, I'm really aware of um, that not everyone's bikes are the same. So main thing is, please, please, please be familiar with your bike safety instructions and always follow them um, as over what I'm actually saying. Um, I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can in terms of a theme so that you know what you're aiming for because obviously you're not going to be able to, everyone's not going to be able to get the same effect um, with the same amount of gears on, etc. So today the theme is uphill, downhill. So we're just going to be working through some um, different timings, um, alternating uphill, downhill. We've got a couple of songs where are purely uphill, purely downhill. Um, so whatever you um, need to do with your bike to achieve that effect and ultimately if you've got um, very little gear range to be able to achieve an uphill downhill effect then just work um, for your time that you need to however um, you can achieve a work level. My disco light is now switching off so looks like it's not going to work. Okay <clears throat> so and please note the following workout is intended for fit and healthy participants with no pre-existing medical conditions or injuries, particularly important um, for indoor cycling. Um, it's not recommended for people with pre-existing conditions or injuries or anyone new to exercise. Um, it's quite an intense way of working out. Extra care must be taken with online workouts to listen to your body. Stop immediately if you feel any pain, discomfort or ill health as I'm not there to watch you and guide you or help correct any issues or, um, you know, issues of intensity. Participation's at your own risk. Never skip the warm-up or cool down and work at a reasonable level according to your current fitness um, and activity. And don't be afraid to modify the moves. Now, the instructor or two rivers meet leisure centre accept any responsibility for injuries sustained from undertaking these exercises. So, on the whole, I'm going to give you some times, give you a theme, and then you just work to your level, um, you know, however works for you. Fab, right, shall we get on the bike? I was gonna switch the lights up, but my disco light appears to not be working. Is it gonna stay on this time? No, I've got no battery. Okay, right, well, um, I'll switch the lights out. If it's too dark, can you let me know? And then we'll get going. I'm going to give Susie a wave there. Okay, fab. So we're starting off with a bit of Mozart this morning, would you believe? Okay, so to start, we need to make sure you are aware of your bike safety instructions. If you're on an indoor cycle type bike, you obviously need to make sure your shoelaces are done up, um, toe clips nice and tight so your feet aren't going to come out. Any other specific safety points like that applicable to your bike, please follow them. Okay, so we're going to start nice level um, resistance and just get the legs warmed up. So nice easy pace. The better you warm the legs up, the more they're going to give you for the session. So it's worth taking a bit of time on this. Big my neighbours dread. 
at this time of the day, of the week. Bumping music through the wall. Okay, so nice upright position. Shoulders down and back. Any forward lean is coming from a hinge and extension from those hips. We want to be pushing and pulling with those legs. Disco lights. Okay, so nice steady pace. Opening up that chest. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be uphill, downhill. So <clears throat> bit of resistance on for some parts, more of a level pace, focusing a bit more on speed for others. Depending on what your bike allows you to do. And please note that I'm aware standing isn't really um, doable on a lot of the bikes you want, so please do not stand. It's not integral to the workout. Just stay seated if I do go to standing. So you should be feeling a little bit warmer now. Let's 
Really good work. I'm just going to open my window. So nice, steady pedal. Have a drink, catch your breath. We'll move on in a moment. Okay, so we're going to be in next song. We're starting just with a little bit of downhill. Then we're going a bit longer. We're going to go uphill, downhill. And then we're going to do a bit longer. We're going to go uphill, downhill, uphill. So as always, working at your own pace. We're starting with downhill, a nice short set compared to what we were doing. So keep control, stay strong, and off we go. Where's the music? There we go. So pushing and pulling. Imagine you're going downhill, but with control. So your speed is going to be higher. Shorter 
need to drop super, super low because you're so high in those gears. You need to find a point where you can feel that resistance but you can still move your legs around. If your legs aren't pedaling round, you're not working. So you're better to be a bit lower in the gear and still moving. Imagine you were on a bike and actually go backwards. Okay, let's go downhill. Last time for this track. Stick with it.
get off when you get off. We want to be stretching out particularly the lower body. So we want to start with a calf stretch. I'm assuming you've not got the bikes we've got up two rivers. So we can't use that triangle we'd usually use. So we're gonna start with one leg forward, other leg back, press that back heel to the ground. Bye guys!